Hey guys and welcome back to another one and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now today we are going to talk about an interesting microphone from Sudotac which is right over here but we are going to do a little bit more than that. We are also going to talk through it. And now that you have seen some images, the package that comes in in this really nice case and so on and so forth, I would like to mention that there are two versions of this microphone, one with the case and one without the case, which is a bit cheaper. I will leave links down below. And then there is also another one with less accessories. So you guys will have to decide if you really need chalk mount, if you need the case or not. Links will be down below. Now, what I'm using right now is the Sudotac uh, microphone so that you are hearing my voice but what we are going to do in this particular video is we are going to compare several microphones that I use on a daily basis and this is one of the situations recording videos here on the channel and share with you guys so that you can do a better decision now one of the things that I would like to mention is that you are hearing the sound so the sound is in my opinion great for the price and for the package that we get but once we compare with the camera, for example, you'll see a huge difference. So a little investment will improve a lot if we want to have a channel like this or if we want to record a podcast or if we want to make a Skype call with a lot better quality for someone, especially if we are talking about business. Now, I would like to bring one thing here to the frame, which is my Yeti microphone, and I want to put them more or less on the same uh, direction now you are listening from the blue yeti which is a microphone that has been with me for quite a few years and i'm really happy with it but one thing that i would like to compare here is not only the audio quality but is <laughs> to point out the, the price is uh, a little bit different is more than the double or at least it was i'm not really sure but i'll try to leave a link down below as well so that you guys can compare but in my opinion i do believe that the best price for what we get in terms of sounds at this moment is right over here on this pseudo tack because what we get in terms of quality is just amazing. Now, of course, the Yeti, which we are listening right now, has got four different patterns in terms of recording, but the truth is that at the end of the day, if I think which one do I use, is the cardioid mode, which is exactly the same that this one has. The Sudotac only has the cardioid mode and the only one that I use here. Now, if you need another pattern, then probably you will be better with a microphone such as the Blue Yeti. We also have right over here, volume controls for the recording and also for listening and I've got a mute button in this particular case on the Sudotac I don't have any control at all so it is a more basic solution but a great solution in my opinion now let's compare with another thing which is my lapel microphone which I'm recording with my zoom h1n and this is one of the microphones that i enjoy because uh, if i go out or if i use it right over here i can move and i will not lose the sound quality the sound depth and if we use now the sudotac you will hear a difference now these kinds of uh, microphones not only the sudotac but also the yeti at this moment you will hear that there's a difference when we move. And this is normal, they're not meant to be used at long distances. We will lose the effect that we get when we are very close to any of these microphones. So guys, uh, here it is, three, uh, actually four choices. We can use the crappy sound that comes out of any of our cameras, but it's embarrassing and it's really, really awful. But just so that you can compare that's what we get from a camera. Basically, any camera that I've got has that crappy sound. The best one that I've got actually is the 
Canon G7X Mark II, which is a point and shoot and records a acceptable audio. It's one of the cameras that I use outside to record my audio. But let's forget about the audio. Let's concentrate right over here. And right now you guys can hear uh, the pseudo attack uh, more close to it. So if I want to record a voice over, then I do believe that it's more than enough for that. And if I use the yet, you can compare. There is a little difference right over there. I don't know if the YouTube compression will compress the video and I will lose that. So it's very hard to say. And there's one advantage right over here on the Sudotac kit, which is this uh, shock mount. One of the things that I will test out on the next following days and weeks is that sometimes when I'm recording a video and recording with the Yeti, I touch my desk and what it happens is that besides capturing the sound, it will capture the vibration along with this boom harm directly to the uh, Yeti. Of course, I can buy a shock mount, but the point is that it's more expensive and it is huge because the microphone is huge. In this particular case, we've got a slim thing right over here included in the package, included in the price. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try this shock mount right over here as my daily driver, if I can say so. And if you watch the following videos in the following weeks, you will see that uh, probably it will diminish when I touch right. Of course, I'm using a desk stand right now, so the vibrations that you will get are a lot more than a boom arm. Nonetheless, I will test it out and you guys on the following videos will be able to tell if will resolve your issues as well or not. And that is it, guys. Hopefully, these few minutes were able to show you guys the quality that we can get on a microphone like this that we can use without any issues at all to record videos and podcasts and so on and so forth. Or if not, if you are looking for something else, a lapel microphone or any other kind of microphone. In my opinion, what I can say is that the kit itself, it's awesome for the price that it costs and for the audio that it gives. I was surprised to get that audio quality. That is it, guys. Hopefully this video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.